All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually gonna be checking out a new update for uh, Zero Linux. Unfamiliar with Zero Linux, Zero Linux is a Arch-based distro uh, that uses uh, KDE, and it's a uh, nicely themed KDE you know, desktop environment. One of the best, if not the best KDE themes that I've you know, used in the past. It's actually where I, you know, got a lot of inspiration from, from like a lot of the themes and stuff that I use. It uses the Tele Purple Dark um, icons, which is the ones that I, you know, like the most. And when I, when I was on KDE, um, I actually used the install script for the theme itself. Um, so you can actually use it on any distro if you don't want to use the uh, Zero Linux distro itself. But it comes out of the box with that, you know, fully steam fully themed and turns out they have some you know new you know features and stuff that we can go through in a new installer along with a post install GUI as well that we can go through and see what's new you know within the zero Linux distribution. So yeah so I have this pulled up on my test PC so get this installed. All right so we're just going to run the zero Linux option here. We'll try our normal mode start the installer. All right, here we are on the live environment here. So it says, please make sure you are connected to the internet, uh, which I am, shows up here. And so we can go ahead and launch the installer here. Let's go next, next. Looks like it's just finding all my defaults automatically. And this is a nice uh, option here that you can actually choose your applications before installing. So you can choose a browser. Let's just go with Brave. You can do VPN services. So they have Proton, Molved, and then we have some social apps. So I'll probably just do like Telegram and Discord. And then LibreOffice, you have Git, password management, Android development. These are more like, yeah, Android tools for Android devices and development. And then we have imaging tools. And then we have audio and music. It's like MPV. Spotify, Easy Effects, so I have some handy good things there. And then we have Caden Live for video production as well, and then extra fonts. So yeah, so these are some nice uh, extras, you know, you can have uh, to get your, you know, kind of jump shoot your installation there. And then we'll go to the next one, and then we're just going to install it to the entire disk. So this is my test PC, so... And we'll just use the X4 because it's the default. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And we'll go ahead and do next. And then for the user, let's do Don. We'll keep the name of the computer the same. And then we'll make a password here. Um, but I want to do automatic login. And then let's go ahead and do next. It's going to show the summary. And then we'll go ahead and install. And install now. All right, so that is installing now. So we'll let the installation go. Um, and if you do want the ISO version, you do have to uh, donate to the uh, Zero Linux project to get access to the ISO, uh, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, these people work hard on, you know, creating these environments and things for us. So I, I do feel like, you know, a, a donation nice and uh, for the time and, you know, what they you know, put into it to have available because Linux is, you know, free and open source. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean the software has to be free. So, and, and, and it's not expensive at all <laughs> uh, to donate. So um, definitely show some support and donate and download the ISO. And then you can get, you know, right into the environment. I will say if you don't want to donate, there is also the ability to install this on any Arch-based KDE installation. Um, you can actually do their script from the wiki page on the website and install the actual theme and stuff and everything. So you don't have to, you know, have the, the full desktop experience, but if you want the actual experience that you would get from downloading the ISO, then you would go this route. And there's also a free demo version if you want to try out the actual, you know, ISO uh, without you know, donating anything, um, there's also a free version you can do there as well. Really, it's, you know, it's just behind that for the convenience of not having to, you know, build everything, but all, all the source code and everything, because it's free and open source, um, is available, you know, for free. It's just getting the ISO. So, yeah, so we're just going to wait for this to, you know, finish building, and then we'll jump into the actual OS. All right, so it just finished, so we can go ahead and restart the system. All right, so we have rebooted into the OS, um, so I'll go ahead and log in. 
and nice so we are back in here so yes yeah, so with the theming you do get this nice uh bar at the top and it's uh, and it's floating and I, I always really like the you know aesthetics of this uh and then you have your your menu over here with all of your apps and everything and then you have your bar over here uh, i always like this um updating tool option uh, aptifier uh, option which is you know kind of baked in there so it'll uh, check for any updates um, you can add like flat pack and stuff to your updates as well so it's definitely a nice tool and then you know feature to have within your your system so it does say one error occurred let's go ahead and update the system real quick as you can see the uh, console is nicely themed as well and um, we got the wobble effects oh and actually we have snap effects there for the windows as well so that's a nice feature especially if you don't have like tiling enabled um it's nice to be able to snap your uh, windows you know exactly where you want it to go yeah that's nice like that all right looks like it's finished but i'm not going to reboot um, right now i'm going to close that out and so let's check out the zero linux toolkit so it's kind of like the the post install kit here so we can do update system which i already did you can download the iso you can install the nix uh package manager and yes yeah, so it's like an experimental feature for experienced users um, so you can get to con continue and do that so that's a nice little um addition there and then we have a pkg manager gui let's see what that looks like oh so you can select which one you want that's actually pretty cool so you can have PackSeq, which is a terminal-based UI, so TUI is probably the one I would go with. Looks like it's already installed out of the box, which is nice. And you have Octopi, which is a pretty um, popular one. Uh, Buo Warehouse, I'm not sure about Warehouse, I haven't really seen that. But yeah, for flat packs, you have Bazaar and Flat Seal as well. So that is a nice touch to be able to get different GUI managers to install packages. And then for drivers... We have all the options as far as, you know, NVIDIA legacy drivers, um, AMD, and uh, NVIDIA CUDA as well. And it looks like you can actually get a uh, fingerprint set up easily from here. Tailscale VPN. So yeah, so it's actually nice to have these hardware and driver tools, uh, you know, out of the box. You don't have to do these kind of stuff yourself. Similar to like a, like a, um, a Gruda Linux option where they have a bunch of different, you know, options for you to get this uh, set up. Asus ROG tools is a really nice option. Oh, I got to put in your password because I'm not going to do that right now. But I do have a um, Asus ROG uh, Flow, which is like a tablet PC. And it always is a chore to get like all the um, lighting and uh, the keyboard and everything to work I mean, out of the box. So it's nice to see that those uh, tools are available. And then under customization, we can uh, set up CSH, uh, change your Grub theme, Plymouth Manager as well. So that's nice. You can change the theme of you know the way that way that looks. Then you can update the land theme, which is the the theme that is uh, enabled by default uh, for your actual KDE you know theming. And then we have some gaming tools uh, for Steam, Luchus, Heroics, Bottles, and uh, controller tools. I'm actually curious about the controller tools here. So it installs different controller tools and drivers. Let's see what it's installing. So DualSense, um, the Steam controller. So yeah, that's actually kind of nice that it um, does have those. So that way, like when you do um, plug your controllers in for like Steam, like Steam input and stuff will work better with those controllers, you know, out of the box by enabling this option, which I do always like to see um, options like that, you know, to be able to enable. So operation successful. So we can go ahead and close that. And then we have game scope as well. So you can actually have the launch game scope command and put in your visual width for output and how you want to scale. Um, so yeah, this is actually really nice to have those game scope options because sometimes it, it it's not very, you know, you, you can read the arch wiki and everything, but for a lot of beginners, setting up game scope is not always a simple task. And then we have containers and VMs, um, some Docker Podman virtual. Uh, box, distro box, and, and the virtual manager. So that's good to have. And then we have media tools, getting OBS, Kaden Live, or Jellyfin server installed. And then we have the servicing and system tweaks. So this is like updating your mirror list and key rings and clearing cache. And I guess you can, you can revert back to the Plasma X11 session as well. So yeah, so that's that's a really nice uh, tool here uh, for the toolkit, kind of like a post-install GUI there. But you don't have to have that, you know, launch every time. 
so you can have that uh, disable so every time you reboot that's not going to come up automatically but yeah so that actually looks uh, pretty good has some nice features in there to get you started and uh, get you going you know fairly quickly uh, when you get everything set up on your system and then as far as like settings and stuff goes we look at the theming if you look at the theming here um, it is using the LAN uh, global theming option there uh, with the purple so these are like all the themes that I would I would normally pick <laughs> out of the box and like I said it has the tele you know purple dark option there uh, which I would use as well and then by default it just uses the uh, breeze but it has you know a few other ones installed that you can you know easily switch to and then you have your system sounds and then your uh, splash screen which is actually uh, set to none uh, but you can obviously switch that to whatever you want and then it did have a slightly themed uh, SDDM option there too, which is the zero dark option for the uh, SDDM uh, login screen there. So really good job on the theming. I think that's like one of the big things that I really liked about um, Zero Linux. So why I always use the script no matter what you know OS I was using at the time. I would always install the Zero Linux script or just you know build it myself, and it would always come out <laughs> very close to this with like with like the dock and everything. Oh, so that actually brings up the the toolkit. So that's nice. And then you have uh, the trash. And then by default you have the dolphin, um, which is you know nicely themed as well. And then you have your terminal, which is also nicely themed too. And actually, this is a pretty cool uh, prompt here by default, which is actually using Bash. Yeah, it's actually using Bash, but it did have an option to switch to ZSH in the uh, toolkit as well. I and mean, I'm sure you know if you wanted to, you could switch to Fish or anything else too. But yeah, overall, I really like the theming and the you know new toolkit and everything that uh, Zero Linux has to offer. So if this is something that you're looking for, definitely you know consider checking it out and getting the version um you know installed onto to your computer. And like I said, they have the demo version that you can you know install without having to donate and test it out. And you'll see if that's something you like. But yeah, if you've enjoyed my content, um, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. If you want to help me, you know, continue to post these videos regularly and support some of my, you know, different projects and stuff that I'm working on, feel free to donate at ko-fi.com/slash/theblackdawn. But otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.